Lions TV, it's a weekly roundup show. Look what we've only gone and done this week. Seven days in and around the den. Let's take a look. Up first, of course, is the first team squad. As we all know by now, last time out a week ago to the day, we won 4-0 at home to Norwich. Goals from Lee Gregory on his 29th birthday. George Savile, Jed Wallace, and caps off by Sean Hutchinson in an emphatic 4-0 win, exactly what the doctor ordered. Also, I forgot to mention, it was Steve Morrison's 250 appearance for the club across three spells. Well done, Morrow, 250 up for the Silver Fox. Our smiling superhero, our general Steve Morrison. Long may he reign. On the subject of the general, it was his 34th birthday on Tuesday. Happy birthday, Steve. 34 years young. I thought he was old now, to be honest. You're actually younger than me. Worrying times. But happy birthday, Morrow. Fair play to you. Moving on to the under-23s, they're in action on Monday at the Den against Sheffield Wednesday under-23s. Noah Chesmain got brought down and Chris Twardek stepped up to give us the lead. We got pegged back and the game ended 1-1 against Sheffield Wednesday. It was good to see Ryan Tunnicliffe and Ben Thompson both playing a big part in that match. I want to start trying to cover a lot of the under-23 games this year, but it's not... You find out about an hour before through the Mill website. I've never seen to... Or their Twitter feed. There's never anywhere where you can actually get a solid fixture list for that. So I will try and get some under 23 games. But yeah, one win, one loss, and one draw so far. Obviously, Ch Chesmain and Twardek, good to see them involved in our goal and, and big big players for that side. But obviously, I, I would like to see them to progress and get brought into the first team. Obviously, they, their chances are limited. It's not easy for them. But Twardek and Chesmain, they're good young players in my book. And, they, they need to be pushing for the first team soon. If not, stick them out on loan somewhere. We're going to get a good amount of games under their belt. Like James Brown, like Harry Smith. You know, it'd be good for them. Moving on to transfer deadline day. The transfer window is now closed. I did a separate VT on that. Check it out on our channel. A transfer window review by myself. Was we disappointed in the end with what happened in the transfer window? I wasn't, to be honest. I think we've got everyone we need and enough to keep us up now. So... That's, that's all I'm worried about. Ryan never didn't come. I've already given my opinions on that in the other video. I don't think we really need him. I think we've got a strong four in midfield there, competing for places. I would like to see a left midfield that didn't come in. A goalkeeper did come in. One player that went out was Callum Butcher. His contract was terminated by mutual consent, and Callum Butcher joined Mansfield Town shortly afterwards. He's just scored on his debut. He's come on as a 56-minute sub at White Carlisle. That was 1-0 down, and Callum Butcher scored from 25 yards to draw Mansfield level. He will be a good player in League 2. He's just won back-to-back -back promotions, obviously, with us and Burton from the League 1 to the Championship. So I think he'll be a, I think he'll be a strong, strong player in League 2, Cannon Butcher, and, and good luck to him. No game this week, obviously, due to the international fixtures. Wish someone would let this Wolves fan know. Paul Hamilton, a Wolves fan on the Facebook page, Championship Banter. He's, he's called out Millwall fans. Look at this, look at this character. It's brilliant. He's called out Millwall fans and people are saying to him, mate, listen, I'm a Wolves fan. The game's not till next week. He's like, no, not having it. The game's this week. Where are you all? Old tight mate will be there in seven days, but at a minute, not a Millwall fan in sight because there is no fixtures. You're absolute pilchard. But yeah, there's, it takes all sorts on that championship banter side. If you're not on it, get involved with this on Facebook. It is funny. Some of the, some of the absolute creatures that they exist up north is, is scary at times. Upcoming fixtures, obviously it's an international break as we've said, but next Saturday we are back in action at Molyneux against Wolves, 3pm kickoff. Then the following Tuesday we are away in a London derby against Ian Holloway's Queen's Park Rangers at Loftus Road. Our allocation for that match is sold out, so if you haven't got a ticket already, you're probably not going to get one now. They are doing a live bean back to the den now, so get involved in that if you can. You might be out here in the Millwall Raw from just across the river. Following that, a week Saturday we will face Dirty Leeds at the Den. I expect Leeds to fill their end. The, the Den's going to be absolutely rocking that day. Really looking forward to that one. It's going to be a fantastic fixture. It's exactly the reason we're back in this league and three big games coming up for us over the next two weeks. So that's it for episode 10 of your weekly roundup shows. Look what we've only got done this week. I'm off to Bradley Lowry charity match tomorrow at Goodison Park. So I'll try and get on board with Snapchat and Instagram as much as I can. If you don't see me there, I will see you at Molyneux next Saturday if you're going. Please subscribe to Lions TV. Come on, you lions.